Hey, welcome back to another CSGO video. Everyone knows that CSGO is a game that requires a lot of hard work and strategy to become a pro player and to get to that global elite level. For this, we need to take care of a lot of things and today in this video we will focus on the callouts and location in Mirage. For those who don't know what a callout is, a map callout is what you use to describe where on the map you or the enemy is. It is a very useful information for your teammates and you should learn all the basic callouts as quickly as possible. When you spot an enemy or die, you call out where it all happened. This way, your teammates will know exactly where to look and can take actions accordingly. So, welcome back to the GDI channel, lay back and enjoy because in today's video, we bring you Mirage Callouts and Locations. You might be a pro or just a beginner, this video is definitely going to help you. Before beginning, let me tell you that this is part 2 of our series on CSGO Guide in which we tell about different facts in each map of CSGO. First video was about callouts and locations in Dust 2. You can check out the video, link is in the description. So, without further ado, let us begin with the video. We will begin with T-Spawn. This is the place where the terrorist side spawns. This is all T-Spawn, and this is the palace. This is the building that can be used to enter a bomb site from T-Spawn. A lot of people like to call it as palace interior, but I like to refer to it as just palace. These are the pillars that can be used to duck and hide behind. Moving forward, this is the balcony. It extends from palace to give a wide view of a site. And the call out for anyone underneath this balcony is known as shadows, which is a small area underneath the balcony by palace. It is pitched in darkness, which is why it's called Shadows. Use this callout to refer to someone underneath the balcony. Moving forward, this is the A bomb site, and it has a different callout of its own. These three boxes are known as the triple box. This place over here is known as the fire box. Players can hide behind it in the hopes that they are not checked by the opposing team. Named due to the fact that it is most commonly cleared by an easy to throw Molotov. Now moving forward in this direction, it will take us to CT spawn, which is the place where CT spawns. This is the trash, a very good place to hide for CT. This hides the player's body unless someone checks it purposefully. This is the ticket booth. This place over here is known as the CT. This callout is similar to CT spawn, but most generally covers the entrance to A bomb site from CT spawn. As this is a frequently used as a position to defend the A site from, it needs its own callout from CT spawn. This is the CT spawn. Now, this place is known as the market. This is the window, and it overlooks the B bomb site. This place over here is known as the fridge. This is the door, and this is the B bomb site. This first pillar towards this market is known as the empty. This is the bench, pretty obvious, and these boxes are known as the boost boxes. This is the van. This is B flat, and these are B apartments. This is the point that the T's will most frequently attack the B site from. This is the kitchen, and this narrow lane is known as the back alley. And this down there is the underpass. The underground passage that leads from B apartments to the bottom of mid, right underneath sniper's nest. But for now, we will move in the other direction. This is the house and this is the TV. And this ramp is known as the apps ramp. It is the ramp that leads to B apartments from T-Spawn. This is the side alley. And now we are back at the T-Spawn from where we began our video. This time we will take the different path. This is the T roof. It is often used by the T's to wait for pushes through A ramp or the line of smoke grenades for the A bomb site. 
This is known as a T-Ramp or A-Ramp. This stack of boxes is known as a Tetris, and this place between the Tetris and its stairs is known as Sandwich. These are the A stairs. And this is the connector, called SOS because it connects mid to the A bomb site. This is the mid, that over there is called chair. These are the mid boxes, and this is top mid. Now, this path will lead us back to the side alley, but for now, we will go towards the catwalk. This room is known as the ladder room because it has a ladder in it that can be used to climb up to infiltrate Sniper's nest. This is B short, and this will lead us back to the B bomb site. Now we will go to the Sniper's nest via the ladder room we saw before. This is known as the vent or the murder hall, and it will lead us straight into the Sniper's nest, which is called so because it is a great place to snipe from when you're playing as CT. This place is known as the jungle, which will lead us back to bomb site A. So, this is it. We have covered all the major callouts in the map of Mirage. It might sound a bit of confusing at first, but with practice, you'll remember all the callouts. So, this is all for the video on Mirage callouts and locations. We hope that the video was informative and interesting. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Gaming Daily Input. For more videos like this and to keep yourself updated in the gaming world, comment below if you have any suggestions or requests. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.